Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where we are currently planning on invading India and I suspect that that will go poorly, but we'll see. We'll see how that ends up going. Now, looking at this current situation, uh, okay. I just wanted to see what exactly was going on with this China situation here. It's a little bit awkward, but it seems to be okay. I, I think it's fine. We've got a little bit of manpower right now, heavy on the little, and it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's one way to do things, I suppose. So, what do we got going on navally here? Oh, well, this is never going to work. Okay. So, we're going to need to move these guys from the Tasman Sea over to here. I did that wrong. Over to here and here. For sure. Um, do we cross over here? No, we don't. So, just there. And we'll remove them from the Tasman Sea. Fantastic. How are we doing on our navy anyway? Honestly, that task force is almost done. We, we need battleships. But that's close. We're going to have another battleship done fairly soon. We are short on our chromium for that. We could definitely try to get additional chromium from Nationalist South Africa. That seems fine. Cool. So we're making our way on over here. And where is our invasion force right now? Something's not right here. Yeah, this is not right. This is the wrong force. Uh, let's, let's delete their orders here. They don't need to do this. I believe... Let's see. These guys are set to this. These guys are going to be following that force up. So these guys need to be set to area defense of basically all of our island territories, right? So, like, everything out over here, and we don't have anything up this way, but we do have... That's in Greater Portugal. Okay. So, basically just that is where they need to be. These guys are the ones who need to be plotting the naval invasion, and that would go from here to this naval base here in Orissa. We'll see how that ends up going. We may not even succeed with landfall there. German Netherlands has capitulated again, I'm guessing this is Britain. Uh, they're going to fall instantly. Okay. Yeah, that's been happening. That's fine. Now, I was watching this while last episode the recording was paused while we were waiting those those days to, to get into this war. I was watching this situation here, and it's pretty stagnant, honestly. There's gains in some places, losses in others from the perspective of the Central Powers, and from the North American Association, actually, from both perspectives. There's gains and losses, but I have a feeling that this is where basically all of the German power is focused. We might be in danger landing here, though. I, I think that's pretty likely. German manpower is holding steady. It's not going up, nor is it going down. That said, Japanese manpower was really, really good. And then they capitulated. So, I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> I've, I've got nothing there. So, we're going to have nukes done in like 34 days, or a nuke done. But it's not like we're really going to have any strategic bombers to use them. We might actually want to set up a single strategic bomber here. So, let's see. Do we even have that researched? I don't think we even have it researched. We probably should get some, like, jet strategic bombers down over this way. Yeah, we should work our way down there. That's going to be necessary if we want to actually use these nukes. Another 2k there. That must be because of New Zealand. That's the only thing I can imagine. And yeah, they're on the garrison template, so that should be fine. And yeah, these guys are moving around. It'll take them time to get there. These guys are on their way over. We're not going to launch this until well after they've arrived. That's for sure. And I'd like to get these guys a little bit closer. But where can they get supplies? Maybe from a U.S. area? 
What level naval base is this? Level 5? Level 3? Level 3? Level 2? Level 5? Level 8 over here. Interesting. Can we launch a naval invasion from the U.S.? I believe we can. We could start planning a naval invasion from here to here as well. We can launch a probing attack before we launch this full attack. Where's our navy at? I don't think they're in this region at all. Well, I mean, the enemy is. I don't think our navy is over here. Where are you? You're docked in Johnson Atoll and Line Islands right now. Let's have you guys move over to patrol. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. We don't really want them to be docked at the moment. Okay. So we have a research slot available. Like I said, I want to start grabbing strategic bombers. That is now fairly important for us. So we'll work our way down that tree. And that'll be fine. And these other upgrades can just continue to be largely random. It's mostly just the strategic bombers that we're going to need for now. Another 1,000 manpower coming in here. Does it instantly go away? No, it does not. That's good. And it's gone now. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, what are we looking at for naval supremacy over here? Not enough to do any sort of a naval invasion, that's for sure. Okay. Enemy supremacy is quite high here. And the question is, where exactly are they? We don't know that currently. But knowing that would be very helpful. Okay. Well, we know that they're over here now. But I think we managed to land here in time. Yes. Maybe. Not with... Well, actually, no. Everybody made it. Everybody made it beautiful. Okay, so that's great. How are we looking over here now? It's better. It's definitely better. I do want to start building a spy network over here in Germany. Uh, that's not the German capital. Over here in Germany and we should probably get a, go get, get around to recruiting people. Um, a linguist wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing. And what do we got here? Demolition expert? Uh, I don't I don't really care. Uh, we're going to have two of our people working on building a spy network in Berlin. The other two will be on counter Intel for now. So that'll do for the moment. We'll get that started so that we have some intelligence hopefully on this situation over here. I was expecting to have a little bit more naval control over here. But I guess that's fine. So we can have these guys on patrol, and then these guys can be on strike force. There we go. Cool. We will continue to research kind of random things that we're not really going to use here. There we go. And I want to check in on our reserve fleet here. There's really not much in the reserve fleet. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to check in on that. Cool. So for the time being, this will do. And we do see that they have some units here. That's not shocking. That's not shocking at all. We're definitely not going to be launching... Um, you guys are operating in Straits of Malacca right now? Yeah, that's fine. We're definitely not going to be launching any uh, any attacks here just yet. 
not with this level of naval supremacy. So the question is, why is there so much naval supremacy here from Germany? Oh, there's actual movement going on over here in Africa. The Allies' African, holding, African holdings are crumbling a little bit. That's okay. We're definitely seeing the North American Association expanding up over this direction. So that's good for us. We will end up launching this attack eventually. This will certainly overtax our supplies that we can get to Orissa. The main question is, there's an ongoing combat here. Okay. The main question is, how are we actually doing on our naval combats over this way? The U.S. lost some convoys to German submarines. It seems like it's mostly just submarines in this area right now. We lost two convoys there. Nothing too major there. That's okay. We have an unassigned division here, and that should go into this army. There we go. Cool. What else is going on over here navally, though? Naval supremacy scaled to 99% because of low enemy intel. But that shouldn't be a big deal either, honestly. That's Scaling it to 99% only means we're losing, I think, 1%. And that's no longer the case. So, I think it's good. So, 42% naval supremacy here. You know what? Here's what we need to do. We need to cancel this order. We have to move this to coming from here. So that way, we have our naval force concentrated in just the Bay of Bengal. Like that. Okay. So we'll do that for the time being. And we'll try to find additional, additional enemies. And we'll just try to... What, what am I trying to say here? We're, we're going to try to reduce their naval supremacy here slowly over time, I guess. Is what I'm trying to say. Advanced rocket engines finishes up, which is always nice. But uh, what else are we going to grab here? Not a whole lot. Is everything done in industry? Yes. We can work on some of these other air airframes here, like jet fighters. We're probably not going to use jet fighters just because of their manpower requirements. But that'll be fine. And we lost two convoys over here. That's a nuke. Okay. There's an ongoing combat here, but that's not going to go well. Yeah, they're just sinking a lot of convoys right now. We may want to have our destroyers be on convoy escort, actually. It seems like they're just trying to attack our convoys and then disappear. Okay. So that's what we'll do for the moment. Should be fine. And yeah, there we go. We were actually able to engage in combat here. And our destroyers should pretty hard counter them. Really. I'm not sure which one we are here. I think we are red in this situation. Because we're the attacker, I think. Our convoy is disengaged. And what ended up happening here? We lost five convoys. Well, okay. <laughs> but sure. So our convoy escort here is... Not tremendously high, but it is coming up. Okay, sounds good. That was our strategic bomber finishing up. So we're going to grab the next level strategic bomber. Perfect. So we're going to need to launch this invasion when we can. I think I'm going to bring this up to six destroyers, since we know that we have one in our in our fleet here. Uh, we've also got these carriers, destroyers, and such. We may want to move some of these out of the reserve fleets. I want to... 
Yeah, combine. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I think that did what I wanted it to. Maybe? Yes, I think so. Okay, so that got us this fleet. And we're going to have them, I guess, come out and patrol up over here. Yeah. They're already heading there. So we'll have... Well, we wanted these guys to patrol. They have a low max speed. Yes. But that's fine. So they come out over here. And what does that put our naval supremacy at once they arrive? We'll see. That's a quite a number of additional ships. But it's not necessarily specialized for what we're wanting to do here. So that's fine-ish. Fine-ish. Okay. Yep, that's all fine as well. I just want to check to see what we've got going on up here. Yeah, we're low on manpower. That's not shocking. And we also have resistance to occupation out over here. We may want to send one of our operatives to root out resistance in this region. Cool. So we'll work on that for now. Excellent. So how are we going to do navally here? They have 73 to 98 ships with orders to engage here. In the Bay of Bengal. That's a lot. That's virtually their entire fleet. Uh, let's see here. That is pretty much the entire German fleet. There are other nations in this. China is not really relevant. They're landlocked. Turkey is a possibility. So we can take a look at Turkey here. They've got 34 to 70 ships. And then there's like Pakistan. And I guess Poland, Estonia, Latvia, Finland. Some of these guys up here. They could have ships down here too, I suppose. Okay. But we're definitely going to work on taking over this region. That's for sure. The question is, when will we be able to actually get rid of some of these? I don't know. We'll see. So let's take a look at this fleet here. The Australia Fleet 2. No, this is, this is all what it was previously. Okay. The Australia Reserve Fleet here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new fleet with that. And we're going to have them come out and patrol over here as well. There we go. And we'll give them a commander. That can be uh, Victor Crunchy here. That's definitely not his name. But Victor Crunchy can head on over. Cool. And these guys will arrive here soon enough. They're probably not a great patrol fleet. Yeah, they're definitely not. But we're going to have them do that. And all of these guys are currently patrolling out here. I do want to have this fleet go back to convoy escort. And the other two can work on patrol. Because we'd like to use our destroyers in anti-submarine operations here. That only makes sense. So we'll do that. And our additional fleet will be arriving here shortly. Our naval supremacy here is 27%. Okay. Well, we're definitely working on potentially engaging some of these guys. Okay. I'm going to move this force back to... Maybe we want this force on convoy escort and this one on patrol. There we go. We'll do that. Should be fine-ish. I mean, we don't have our destroyers on convoy escort like that. So there is that. There's an ongoing combat here. Yeah. We need our destroyers to do anti-submarine operations. For sure. So we're like 22% here in terms of naval supremacy. 
These naval operations are certainly going to be a bit awkward, but I think I'm going to move these back. There we go. Yes, they have low max speed. That's understood. We definitely want our destroyers hitting their subs. They don't appear to actually be hitting their subs. And yeah, they're just sinking our convoys with impunity at this point. Well, we'll see. Let's see. I wanted to look at this fleet's composition here. Okay. I'm going to try putting these on convoy escort as well. There we go. We'll see how that ends up going. Their subs are desperately trying to escape. I don't think we're doing any damage to them at all. They're just sinking convoys essentially with impunity with their, their submarines right now. So that's a little bit awkward for sure. I'm hoping the U.S. comes in here fairly soon, too. Like, if basically their entire fleet is here, then I'm wondering why the U.S. is not. Where is the American fleet, anyway? I don't actually know that. But we'll assign over to here. That'll be fine. Eighty-three to ninety-seven. We're only seeing small numbers of submarines like this, right? That's all we're seeing there. One thing I do want to do is I want to get this destroyer force, like quite a bit bigger. In fact, let's max that out at ninety-nine for now. It won't fill that anytime soon. I'm aware of that, but let's max that out so that the maximum number of destroyers that we have can get into that area. I'd really like our destroyers to start taking out some of their subs, and that may eventually happen. We caught a German operative. Yeah, see, they're just attempting to disengage as quickly as they can. It makes sense. That's exactly what they should be doing. Our intel efficiency is a lot better here. Let's see if we can't come in over this way and work on breaking their cipher. Uh, that's not how you do that. That's the state of Japan there. I, I guess we'll reveal the intel here. It's uh, a little late. But sure. Or can we can we get rid of that? Okay. Cool. So let's go ahead and infiltrate the Navy. And let's see here. Yeah, resume mission. Commence when ready. Go. We're going to try to infiltrate the German Navy, and let's see how that goes. We do need to get what we can in terms of advantages in the Bay of Bengal if we want to actually do this invasion. That's the core issue here right now. So we do want to continue to research over here. Cool. We'll get those done as quickly as we can. We don't know how many troops that they have here, but we can probably take that over if we can claw over... Hello. Did we locate their main fleet there? Okay, those are convoys being sunk. That's a nuke. Cool. Okay, so we're definitely locating some ships here and there, but this is certainly where the vast majority of their ships are. That's guaranteed at this point. We definitely know that. And how do we want to go about dealing with it? Well, to some degree, we're just kind of hoping the U.S. comes in and deals with it for us. Our numbers are not great. At least not in comparison to theirs. But we are able to contest their control here, to some degree. 
If we can actually catch them, that would be great. But it is about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll see how we can go about scaling this up. And hopefully, we'll catch some of their subs at some point. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you, that's not the correct button, to all of the channel members for making this video possible. Including Kazerol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Ken to win, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, Elmichi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambrin, Martin Lawrence, Jens Graham, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.